We've got an advantage. The three symbols. Let's have a look at the map. Okay, let's see. We are right about here. I can mark it up as we go. Check out that tower. Bet you could get the lay of the land from the top. Maybe. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for us off. Perfect. Not that I'm too worried about him, though. You should be. We won't have the advantage of surprise again. Don't think he was expecting much from you. Wait, was that a compliment? That, that sounded like a compliment. His guys are idiots, but it's all this. We just need to stay the hell away from him. Never understood the appeal of people like Asav. Easy. He finds men who are weak and offers them power. Gives them purpose. Purpose? Sounds more like bullshit to me. Where are you going? Want to climb it with me? I really want to, but uh, someone should keep watch for Asav's forces. Good call. <laughs> Up and away. <sighs> So far, so good. Here's our three symbols. Well, that took less time than I expected. Parashurama's bow. Let's see here. Aim right at those Hoysala ruins. It's an old fortress, sitting smack dab in the middle of the lake bed. I'll jot a bow on the map in that spot. Let's see what's behind the axe door. Another old fortress, tucked into the mountainside. I'll just mark that on the map, with an axe. Huh. Wonder what that could be. For future reference. Last but not least, the Trident. And another old fortress, just beyond those waterfalls. Trident mark on the map for you. Was it worth the climb? 
and then some. Found the three symbols. Really? Yep. Each one was pointing towards a different fortress. Those will be the best places to look. Perfect. How'd you get tangled up with the Sarv anyway? Purpose? Rather not go into it. He certainly seemed to have a thing for you. Don't remind me. Proved useful at the time, but... Yeah. Uh, do tell. Rather not. Maybe over drinks? Not enough alcohol in the world. Right, you're the military expert. What's Asav's strategy here? He spread out his men, hoping to stop us in our tracks. Not what I would do. So what would you do if you were Asav? Besides lose the beard? Hang back? Let you do the heavy lifting, then swoop in and grab up the task once you've done all the hard work? Devious. Practical. Mitigates a lot of risks. Lucky you're on my team. Yeah, you are. I'm a little surprised Assault's not doing the same thing. Maybe his expert knows more than we think. Right. All the more reason to wrap this up quickly, then. men might be around. Interesting circular motif, like the disc. No telling how many men are in there. You ready? I guess Is we'll find out. Secured? Not yet. I want to know Waiting how on many Cobra are in here. All of them. They're all in here. Let's keep this quiet as well as we can. Copy that. Man down! Man down! We are not alone. Search every inch of this place. What the...? We have something. Maybe. Check it out. Move! You got it. Hey. You got anything? We are all clear. And that's that. Another one down! Keep looking. They are here somewhere. Right.
Talk to me. That's a lot of them. You all right? I'm fine. Apart from working for a reckless treasure hunter. Okay. Shall we see about getting that gate open? Good call. What do you suppose this place was? Hard to say. A fortress? Not the right layout for a temple. Hmm. Okay, that's not it. Know this? What's the trick here? What? Look like a button. Yeah, I just wanted you to have a go at something. What's this? That's a good sound. One of the spokes on the wheel just turned around. That's two. Ah, here's another. I'll get it. Found you. Only one left. Last but not least. That should do it. Okay. Back to the big <gasps> wheel thing. Big wheel thing? Whatever the <clears throat> archaeological term for it is. The big wheel thing works. Come on. Looks like we're going under. Radio. <laughs> well, looky here. What are you willing to bet? Told you it's some kind of key. Gold star for you. Now let's see what it does. What is it? Ancient horse and our jigsaw puzzle? Ah, of course. I'm making a trident. It's Ganesh. Hello, sir. Now what? Now, I guess we turn this crank and see what happens next. I think it's safe. You know that treasure hunting is not a good gig for the risk of us, right? Neither is being a mercenary. Difference is when I pull the pin on a grenade, I know what's going to happen next. My way's much more fun. <laughs> Did 
Did you hear that? You feel that? Look at that. Holy hell. There's a massive relief carved into the side of that mountain. And you were worried we were going to turn that crank and die. Guess it's good I've got an archaeologist's daughter with me. It must have been fun growing up, eh? It had its moments. I learned a lot. Hoysalar Empire was kind of his thing. Took up a lot of his time, though. Me, if I go digging for treasure, we better make a buck or two. Well, sure. I don't take big risks without a good payday. I imagine so. Like running an army, huh? That's a big responsibility. Second nature. It's my father's company. He retired, I took over. Family business. Mm. Made a real mess of it. But you should know. Heard you and those Drake brothers are close. Yeah, well, it's a conversation for another time. So, where to next? There's the fort marked with an axe on the mountain there. And that fort marked with a bow in the lake bed. I suppose I should have asked about the dregs before I took the job. Not much to tell. I know Nate pretty well. Sam less so. He seemed to just appear out of thin air. Last one back to the car buys dinner. I brought him Maurice. You're no fun. this time. You handed yourself on, all things considered. All things considered? That's high praise coming from you. It is.
mountains and make them. Yes and yes. Hey, just so you know, Nathan Drake is no longer in the picture. You don't have to worry about him. I had my concerns. Why do you accept my offer? I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth, especially with everyone wanting to see me fall. I hear that. But on the plus side... Oh, there's a plus side? Oh, when people have low expectations, it's much easier to take them by surprise. As far as I'm concerned, this business is tough enough on your own. You have to take any advantage you can. You always worked alone? Mostly. How old were you when you started? Young. Learned quickly enough I needed to let people think they were getting their way, and then I could get the upper hand. Too subtle for me. I always preferred the direct approach. Yeah, whatever works, I say. That cliff wall. See that archway? Looks intact. compromised. This should be the trick. Salah versus the tiger. Doesn't seem like a fair fight. Salah won, actually. He was protecting his guru and killed the animal in one blow. It's where the name Hoi Salah comes from. Hoi, meaning strike, in their language. No, 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 no! <coughs> Fraser, you okay? <coughs> yep. Come on in. The water's fine. They've left their climbing gear. They should come in handy. <clears throat> Correction. Our climbing gear. Oh. God, a bit hard on the wrists. Yeah. 
Krieger hier wohnt. Ich bin da nicht. I'm sorry, it's not a good luck. Hey, hey, saw something. Watch yourself. Okay? Slightly deaf, but I'm good. Good. Let's keep moving. Oh my. What the hell is this? Okay, let's see what this does. That statue moved. Well, let's see how this goes. Well, I'll be going to hell. That's elaborate. Ah! Oh shit! The statue moved again. Ah! Be careful. I don't like the looks of this. Oh, for goodness sake. Three statues with two different symbols now. A star and rings. They're all voice to last. I like your descriptions better. We had one more to go. How did you know that? Everything always comes in threes. Uh, you'll see. Here we 
go. Guess this will be a picture of an ex. Good guess. Oh, this one's a bit trickier. Shiva. Right. Let's turn the water on. Well, well. What's to say it's not different this time? What if it's fire or something? You're messing with me. I'm totally messing with you. <laughs> Here we go. Mm hmm? I'm a little disappointed it wasn't fire. Another waterfall. Yeah. It's two out of three now. Ross and I went to an absurd amount of trouble to hide the tusk. Well, the tusk was the symbol of Hoysala dominance, representing their wealth and their might. A nice trophy for the Persians. Yeah. My dad always thought that the tusk was something even greater, though. What? Your dad was after the tusk? Well, my dad was obsessed with it. He spent every day and night researching it. All our money wasted on fruitless expeditions. Heard that one before. Ugh. So what came of it? I don't know. Well, he sent me and my mum away. He said it was no longer safe. And off to Australia we went. <laughs> and now here I stand, on the outskirts of Halabadoo. That's... pretty funny. And the last fort's resting in the lake bed. So that's the one with the bow. Australia. Your accent makes sense now. Yeah. Fraser's not exactly an Indian surname either. It was my mum's. Let's head back to the car. Gotta love a shortcut. Glad we don't have to go back the way we came. <laughs> I would have made you dodge the axes. <laughs> <laughs> Solved after the tusk now. Figured he just wanted the money, like us. He'll use it to rally people to his cause, wavered in the government's face. Just like all the other tusks. This has happened before? Oh, yeah. Ever since the young king lost to the Persian, everyone's wanted to lay claim to, it, to this land. The dear Uncle Hobbit is just going on a treasure hunt. We are? Let men like the star fight over it. None about themselves. Parting walls was my concern for a time. Good point. But you did it for the cash. Usually. What about when you worked for a star? <laughs> Definitely a cash grab. Hardly worth the trouble. Ow. Why do it then? Needed to establish my rep, eh? Figured I'd start with the worst of the bunch. Nowhere to go but up after that. <laughs> Ugh! 
beautiful out here. Is this your first visit to India? Yeah. Not a lot of perks in this line of work, but travel is definitely one of them. Where have you been? Uh, where haven't I been? Oh. Watch out. The rip is much easier already. Once more, it's just <laughs> There we go. Hey, I'll take care of this one. Okay. We're clear. Probably to the others. Can't be helped. Come on. There, on the mountain! <laughs> you boys really don't want me shooting from down here. Keep our eyes open. <coughs> We'd better. We walk right off the cliff. You do have a sense of humor. I would prefer the head start over the salt. Not much we can do. Besides, doesn't matter who starts, only who finishes. Fair point. Follow me. Oh, 
To be clear. That's what I was gonna say. No. Perfect. That should do it. at least. Sorry. I'm sure you can find your way over here. Oh, definitely. Figured you'd want to take the easy way over. Oh, me how it's done. Watch. <laughs> Beg your pardon? Doing all right? I'm fine. Just don't get started without me. Oh, wouldn't dream of it. There you are, having fun. Just like the monkey bars in primary school. I'd say this looks safer than the playground at my school. Uh, nearly there. Made it. I'm impressed. You're impressed. I'm tired. Let's get this done. So, this will be a bow. What the hell? That's not fair. Uh, look at that. Bana Sharama. Come on, let's get this over and done with. Yep. <laughs> Whoa! Shit! See? I told you it was dangerous. You hurt. Just my dignity. <sighs> Here we go. There'd be water. And now that's three. You know, you're pretty good at this whole treasure hunting thing. I'm a quick study. Mm. One question, though. I reckon that you could pretty much do anything you want. Why are you so keen to get Shoreline back? Seriously? Mm. My partner turns my own men against me. My lieutenant makes off with the bounty. Nathan and Samuel Drake get off scot-free and you're asking why I want Shoreline back. Yeah. Was on my watch. I lost it on my watch. All right, what the hell is that thing you keep playing with? It's my stress toy. It showed up in the mail a few weeks after we got to Australia. All right, we better get a move on. We don't want a solve to get ahead of us. You know, I've had my fair share of screw-ups. <laughs> you just pick yourself up and move on. I don't like to fail. No one does, love. Let's find a way to get back down to the car. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> ah, this is open now.
Hey, if you want to look anywhere else out there, it's the time to do it. Right. For what it's worth, it's your kick-ass reputation that got you this job. Plus, I figured you could use the money. You're not wrong. Honestly, though, it's actually just working with a woman for a change. <laughs> Too right. Not many of us out here. This one arms dealer demanded to speak to the man in charge, then tried backing out when I informed him I was running the show. Uh, what did you do? Broke both his legs. <laughs> You're not kidding. Just trying to level the playing field. Oh, don't cross Ross. <laughs> I should put that one on my business card. Can't you just walk away? Be done with Shoreline? I was born in Tooks. I don't have a choice. Oh, there's always a choice. Coming. Right behind you. Magnificent. How long do you suppose it takes to carve something like this? Years. Decades, even. Boy, Salah certainly did have a knack for stonework. And the war, it seems. That too. They must have made these to commemorate their victories against the Persians. Looks like they put up a good fight. They did. Pity it didn't last. But their loss is our gain, right? That carving looks familiar. That carving is an exact match for the disc. So what does that mean? I don't know yet. But, I'm guessing, we should give that a try. Should we dance? Try not to break it this time. Yes. <laughs> You ready? Yeah. Just, um, taking it all in. <laughs> <laughs> 